hello to all in today's video we are going to cover what is offset in VBA and how to use offset and then we will learn how to use end function and then we will see how we can find the end of a list so let's start today's first topic is what is offset offset is used to move uh, on the sheet from a fixed point for example if i take h8 as my fixed position then if i move towards up towards up means towards uh, upward to, towards the rows then i have to subtract that much number of rows or if i move towards down the rows then i have to add number of rows or, or i move towards the right hand side then i have to add number of columns or if i move towards the left hand side from a fixed point then i have to subtract the columns so this is how offset works if you are moving it helps in moving towards the four directions that is top bottom left and right and if you move towards the right you have to add the number of columns if you move towards the left then you have to subtract the number of columns if you're moving towards up then you have to subtract the number of rows and if you move towards the down then you have to add the number of rows now we will learn how to use uh, offset in VBA so for this I have created four positions that is first second fourth and third we will, we will learn how to move in these four points so let's start this macro by naming it as offset learn Let, let's refer the position as range a1 dot select so now the first the first line is just to bring the cursor to a1 so now we can write that is a1 dot offset as you can see the syntax says number of rows in offset first you will refer number of rows then you will refer number of columns so for this and as earlier i had said if you you want to move towards up or towards the left then you have to subtract number of rows and number of columns and if you want to move towards right or towards down then you have to add number of rows and number of columns so now i have to move down so i have to add number of rows so that is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 rows i have to move down then comma the number of columns so i have to move one it's zero one two so two columns towards the right so two press close dot select so now let's run this code check that is it's working or not a1 to select it is done the same as you can see it has moved from first position to the second position now we will check now we will write the codes to move to the third position so we can write selection dot offset start so now we will move towards the up number first we need to refer to the number of rows so rows are moving up 0 1 2 3 4 so minus 4 comma number of columns so it is 0 1 2 so two columns towards right so we have to close dot select now let's run this again it has moved to a1 then it has moved to c7 then it should move to e3 it has done the same so now let's write the code 
to move from E3 to A5. So that is selection dot offset. So we are moving from E3 to A5. So that is number of rows we are moving down is 0, 1, 2. So 2 and number of columns is towards is left. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 columns. So minus 4 parenthesis close dot select. Now let's run the code. Let's see A1 it has moved to C7 then E3 then A5. So this is how offset works. You must have noticed that while writing in this code the syntax was there but while writing this code or this code there was no syntax because the last two lines are not the recognized combination in VBA but if it works the syntax will only pop up for those combinations which are recognized by VBA so that's all in offset now we are going to see how the end function is used in VBA so end function basically what it does is used to move from from top to bottom and from bottom left to bottom right and then to up this is the use of function end so now let's see that in codes so our macro should start with naming as end function and let's just give uh, its a range we are trying to move from top to bottom so from a1 till the bottom that is our we, are, we want to move from a1 to a19 downwards so it will be dot select so selection dot end excel down bracket close dot select so this code so what it will do it will select first it will select the cell a1 and then it will go directly down till a19 it will it will the in this code will go down till till the date data is present so let's check this codes a1 and if we see it's going down with till a19 until the data is present till only a19 so this is the way we can do if we select range a1 dot end you can see there's a intelligence is there and you can see there are four directions down excel to left excel to right and excel to up so you can select i want to move towards the right from a1 till the very right end till the data is present dot activate or you can say select so now let's check this as well as you can see it has moved from a1 till the extreme right till the data is present so if there is a break in the anywhere there is a break if the data is not present then it will stop immediately right there the, it will not move till the bottom now let's show me this a1 okay it has came a little a9 so this is how it works it will not surpass the empty cell here and now let's write so this is how the end function works in excel there are, are four end functions that is excel to down excel to left and excel to right this is the last topic which i'm going to cover today and that is finding the list
for example if i want to select the entire content of column a for, for example this one which i have just highlighted so now let's go ahead and write the codes for this so the my name will be find list so now let's go to the range a1 dot select so for for selecting the entire column we need to use the end function in this so it will go like this range a1 quotation ends comma range a1 again bracket close dot end then we'll have the excel down parenthesis close then again one more bracket close dot select so let's check this if it's working or not select a1 exactly the same it has done what we wanted it to do if you want to select the entire heading so you can replace this excel down to excel to write or you if you want to select entire substance on the left hand side then you can put excel to left and similarly if you want to select from bottom to up then you can replace this excel down to excel up so let me just show you if i want to select entire header then a1 comma range a1 dot end excel to write parenthesis close one more close dot select so let's check this again on the first now it will select range a1 then the entire content of a1 then the entire header it has done the same what we wanted so this is how you can select the entire column or the entire list which you want to select now for example if i want to select column a column a entire content of column a and the entire content of column c so so what how we can do that let's go and check we have to use union function that is union function that is start same it will be range a1 comma range a1 dot end excel down bracket close one more close then again comma range a3 sorry it should be c3 double quotation c3 comma again range c3 dot end excel down but close one more close close dot select hit enter so let's increase some size so that we can see the codes okay now let's run the this code to find that it's working or not a1 entire column a it has done the same what we wanted if you can see it has selected entire content of column a and entire content of column c so this is how you can use union function you can use union function to select this entire column a and then you can use this to select entire column 
sorry there row one so this is the union function it's very useful it is mostly used in charts and graphs so that's all in this video have a good time